Hi, Lightroom Guy here, David Wagner. And I'm not really here today to talk to you about why you didn't back up, but we are here today to talk about what happens when you didn't back up, your hard drive fails, and Lightroom still shows thumbnails. And of course, when Lightroom still shows thumbnails, if you have exclamation points or that small rectangle um, that shows a smart preview, you have previews but you don't have any originals available. And if your hard drive failed, those originals are probably lost forever. Unless you're going to invest in recovery services, which can cost thousands of dollars. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to recover your previews when you've lost all your photographs. Granted, it's not gonna be high resolution, but you will be able to recover your thumbnails and depending upon the quality of the setting of your thumbnails, some decent images that will at least replace what you've lost. Let's take a look at how you can do this. So how do I know if my drive is failed or if it's disconnected? You'll see in the folder section in your Lightroom library, there is the name of your drive. And if it's highlighted as opposed to being grayed out, um, it is available. And sometimes it'll be a green light to the left of the name, but as long as it's highlighted, the drive is available. And another clue, in addition to your title of your drive being grayed out, will be the question marks that appear on each folder. And before you freak out completely, make sure your drive is plugged in. And if it is plugged in, maybe give your computer a restart to see if it doesn't mount. Sometimes these issues are not about a failed hard drive. So let's get busy. The first thing that we want to do is locate the Lightroom Presets folder. And in Windows, you'll find that in Edit, Preferences, and um, you will, in the Presets tab, click Show All Other Lightroom Presets. However, I'm working on Macintosh, and for Mac OS, you're going to open your Lightroom Classic and go to the Preferences. And in the Preferences tab here, you're going to go to the Presets tab and you're going to choose Show All Other Lightroom Presets. And this is going to reveal the Lightroom Settings folder. From here, we're going to open this Lightroom Settings folder and you'll see there's other folders inside. But what we want to do is create a new folder inside and we're going to call this folder scripts and we're going to use this folder in a minute but first what we need to do is download this script from the adobe website so here in the browser we are on the adobe website for the extract preview for lost images page the link for this is below on my youtube channel and in the blog post you'll see it in with the text and what we want to do is we want to make sure we download the correct script. So that's going to either be Ventura 13.3 or an earlier version 13.2. So you'll need to check your Mac OS for that. And then you'll also notice right below that, that this is actually also um, how you would use this download for Windows. And they don't make that clear here. After I click at File, it will download it either to my desktop or my Downloads folder. Double-clicking the zip file will then extract it into a working script. It's extractpreviews.lua, and we want to place this extract previews script into the scripts folder we just created. Now that we've put the script in the scripts folder, we need to quit and restart Lightroom. And when we restart Lightroom, there's an almost imperceptible icon that signifies a script is available. Up here at the top, it is barely noticeable. Who knows why they made it so small and so hard to see, but that's what they did. And these last couple of steps are how we reclaim those previews from the Lightroom catalog. With your drive that's missing, you want to select your top-level folder. And if you don't have a top-level folder, 
select all the folders that are in your catalog. And from here, you want to select all. That's Command A or select all from the edit menu. And then you want to select your script. And in the script menu here, you can see extract previews. So in this particular case, I'm just going to put the previews on my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it restored previews and I'm going to choose create. And once I've done this and I choose this folder, you can see Lightroom up here is trying to, to write the best available previews of everything that's in my catalog. And once this is complete, I can go to my desktop and find my folder with my restored previews. And you'll see that all 138 images that are in my, that were on my failed hard drive, 138 here, all 138 images have been restored. And the size of these are actually not too bad. You can see they're 2000 pixels by 1500 pixels better than nothing and better than losing all of your photos because of a failed hard drive. So when a disaster strikes and you don't have a backup and you've lost all of the photographs on a hard drive and you're using Lightroom, this is a fail-proof way to at least get your photos back even if they're not the highest of resolution. And it's certainly better than nothing. This is Lightroom Guy. Remember to back up, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.